Hello everybody, we are here today. We're gonna to check out Grater's Ice Cream, which is a local ice cream place in Cincinnati. Um, and actually, I'm doing this video after the experience and I kind of was just trying to decide what I wanted to do with it um, because something very interesting happened when we were actually doing this video that I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to post, but I kind of do want to post it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just like cut to the video, show you a little bit about Grater's Ice Cream, and then I think let's talk. Uh, but it's a really famous sort of like local ice cream place in Cincinnati um, that has great ice cream. Um, so without further ado, let's check out the video um, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about the experience. Let's talk a little bit about Graders. Um, it is a regional ice cream chain founded in Cincinnati, Ohio. Headquarters founded in Cincinnati, Ohio. So it is sort of that local claim to fame ice cream shop. So every major city I feel like has sort of that local ice cream shop. This one is now expanded into like the Columbus areas. You've got them in Louisville, in Kentucky area. You've got it even all the way up to Chicago, all the way over to Pittsburgh. Um, so it's expanded, so it's more regional. Midwestern ice cream, but it's basically if you ask anybody like what's the famous ice cream space in sort of the Midwest area, it's going to be Grater's ice cream. It's kind of like I kind of look at it as like Ben and Jerry's if you're familiar with Ben and Jerry's. Yeah. Um, so you can get their ice cream in different retailers and things like that, but then they also have sort of the ice cream shops. And it's like it's like a fancy. I feel like it's a fancy ice cream shop. Yeah. Now Grater's uses what they call the French pot process uh, to create their ice cream. I honestly don't know what that is. Um, and I don't actually know if it makes the ice cream any better, but they say that it makes it denser. It's like a denser, thicker, I guess, ice cream. Um, and it is pretty pretty dense, I guess, but I feel like I've had denser, so I don't really know. What do you think about the French pot process? I do you notice it? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no. Maybe it's just a marketing buzzword they use. I don't yeah. know, but um, when we've had graders in the past, I, I just really not noticed that, so yeah. I don't know. It started to get a lot more famous. A lot of um, celebrities and things have uh, tried it. I know Oprah Winfrey called it out on her O channel and then also on her Oprah Winfrey show at one point and praised the ice cream chain. So then it got more popular. Um, and that was in like 2002, I think. So it's been around a while. It was actually founded in 1870. So it has oh, been wow. a yeah, long <laughs> time. Now, I don't know what all incarnations are there, but yeah. um, it's pretty interesting. And they've got some pretty good flavors. I don't feel like they have any crazy flavors. I feel like they have fairly standard ice cream flavors, maybe their own spin on it. Now their big signature flavor that they're known for is this black raspberry chip. Which um, I've never had. I've. I don't know that I've actually ever had it. No, I don't like um, that kind of ice cream. I don't like flavors. raspberry. So raspberry's yeah. not my fl my flavor, so I'm gonna pass on it. <laughs> I always pass on it. Uh, but then they have sort of more, your more like standard flavors as well. Like oh, they, she calls it old, people always tell me that I eat old people food because I love yeah. like butter pecan ice cream. But I also love it. <laughs> I love butter. And I'm, I'm like favorite. the one that goes into Cracker Barrel and is always getting like the old old candies. It's just the way yeah, I like And it. old people cookies. Um, but they have other flavors. <laughs> they've got like cherry chocolate chip. They've got, uh, birthday cake, they've got chocolate, coconut, almond, chocolate chip, uh, black cherry chocolate chip, they've got brown butter, bourbon pecan, Buckeye, chocolate blitz, which a Buckeye, if you're not familiar, Ohio Buckeyes are like a famous thing. It's basically like a little like peanut butter ball with chocolate. It's kind of like a Reese cup. Yeah. Um, but a slightly different flavor. The peanut butter is just different, but it's, it's, and it just looks like a, it looks like a little Buckeye, like a, <laughs> Uh, the nut or whatever, the seed or whatever that drops off the Buckeye trees. So it's a little round uh, and it just looks like a Buckeye. That's Ohio Buckeyes. They've got cookies and cream. They've got cotton candy, double chocolate chip. They always have flavors every single like month as well, like specialty flavors that kind of come and go. So, but they're also, they have pastries. They've got other sorts of things, candies and stuff in their shops as well. So um, that's just a little bit about Grater's Ice Cream. It's, it's the big ice cream shop in the Midwest. Well, okay. Try to all get in one half of the frame. <laughs> like, you know how you <laughs> see people do that? This is how they, like, right. the, the YouTubers are like, this. Sometimes they leave. Right. Yeah. That's something different angles. And that's the thumbnail. You should leave that in. <laughs> you should leave that in. Yeah, it is. Leave that in. That's the thumbnail. You don't even know. Yeah. When this thing posts, he's going <laughs> to... 
Leave that in. That's gonna be the thumbnail. It's gonna be him like. <laughs> Okay, hey, it's videoing the whole time. All right, we just went into Graders and we got some ice cream and I'm excited to try it. They have so many crazy flavors there um, that it's hard to pick. It really is. I, st um, I stared at that menu for like 10 minutes. It's hard to pick, to pick for everyone except for, for Nick. <laughs> I he tasted me. everything and then just got <laughs> <laughs> He did. So you can taste test the ice cream here. Like they give you like a little spoon mm -hmm. and taste test it. He went through them all and then got vanilla. <laughs> with sprinkles on a sprinkle cone, or a waffle cone. I always chocolate. get butter pecan, but I got my ice cream first, so mine's melting, so I want to eat it. She did get hers. Look at her busted little cone. Look at it. <laughs> she got that little baby we cone. We haven't eaten dinner yet. We all got big, delicious waffle cones. <laughs> so I got cherry chocolate chip, um, which is a which is a limited edition. They always have limited edition ones. They had like a, um, a Bearcats something or other, which is Cincinnati Bearcats special one. They had a um, chunky chunky hippo or something which i was like i don't even know what that is and then they had i don't know a bunch of other they have a bunch of other and then they have all these crazy other ones like um brown what did you get brown bourbon butter pecan and it's amazing i mean brown <laughs> bourbon i low key should have got that i got re pecan. regular pe um butter pecan soup? but it's fine yeah, yeah. I, I screwed the pooch on that i should have got that no it's very good. So butter pecan's my favorite ice cream, and that was it. That one sounds Same. even better. Why did I get this? <laughs> What's their What's one they're doing? famous for? That's only here seasonally. seasonally. Cherry Ras cordial. Oh no, no. raspberry. Black. Oh, they blackberry. Have, oh, it was like black raspberry. They have a raspberry chip and a cherry chip. Yeah, that's yeah. it. It's raspberry. Black cherry chip yeah. is the ras. But they have it. They had it oh, just now. They yeah. had the raspberry chip. I just don't like raspberry, so I didn't get it. I got cherry chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is fine. So mine's melting on my hands. I'm gonna eat it. Let's give it a try. I haven't had. I've never had this at this place before. So it's so good. Mine's good. Mine yeah, kind of just tastes. Mine tastes like cherry cordial or, or cherry. Yeah. What's the name of that? Cherry Garcia or something? Uh -huh. Ice cream. It's good. It's got like dark chocolate chips and cherry and cherry ice cream. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. So what does yours taste like, Wei? Like. Mm, kind of like, you know, like brown butter, like brown butter cookies, that kind of flavor, like a very like warm flavor. I don't really know how to describe it. Does, Does it, it taste sweet? better than butter pecan? Yeah. Like Is normal it more butter? Sweet? Yeah, it's more sweet. It has like more flavor than regular butter pecan. It's more of a strong mm. flavor. You know, we were just saying the other day that nobody makes good butter pecan anymore because one of one of two things. One. It doesn't have a buttery enough, like a buttery pecan yeah. enough flavor. Wow, oh, that's the worst description ever. <laughs> well, that's, that's what, what I do. I just add, I add a Y <laughs> to the end of every word, and that's my description of what that thing is. Same. Um, but it doesn't have enough buttery flavor, and then they don't have big enough like crunchy pecans in it. It's like mm. little nips of pecans. Yeah. But I feel like that one like they got covers really, both. That's my favorite thing about graders is how big the chunks are. Like the pecans are big, their chocolate chunks are big, they're not just like regular chocolate chips. And they're actually really good. They're not like the hard chocolate chips, you know, that, that don't really have much flavor. Yeah. 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 And I also got s'mores in here, and it has like whole, almost like whole marshmallows, like not like the chintzy little ones. Oh, so you got- And they're squishy. Right. So you got, you got a double scoop yeah, and you got two scoop. different kinds. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now you got to eat that whole first scoop and tell us what the s'mores <laughs> one's like. <laughs> I, I've had some more than four. And probably my favorite from Graders, but this this one's actually giving me the run for its money. Mm -hmm. I do have to say I like the fact that they have lots of big chunks. I feel like mm -hmm. a lot of times I go to a, like a hand scooped ice cream place and it, and, it, and it sounds like it's gonna have chunks in it and it has like nothing in it. Like, it's just mostly ice cream yeah. and then like a little bits of stuff. So if you like ice cream with like lots of like stuff in it, I do. I do too. I think a lot of people. Some people don't. It's not soft serve. It's like hand mm -hmm. scooped. Um, and I feel like if it's gonna be hand scooped, it's gotta have a lot of stuff in it. That's that's the big difference for me. Soft serve, I'm used. I, it, I'm expecting it to be smooth and not a lot happening there. But like hand scooped, like it should be chunky. Mm -hmm. You got my, what kind of chunks you got in in your snack in your vanilla? The only crunch he's getting. The only crunch he's getting is cone. That's sprinkles. Got is there sprinkles. whole vanilla beans in it? No. <laughs> this is your basic vanilla, chocolate sprinkle cone. And sprinkles. You did get the sprinkles. sprinkles I love sprinkles, by the way. Sometimes I get a Sunday here. I haven't been here to get a Sunday in a long mm. time, but we used to come more often and I would get a Sunday. I think it was a turtle Sunday. If anyone's wondering, that eyeball in the corner is candy. <laughs> yeah, she was the one. Talking. I feel like I don't fit in the screen without covering it. Um, 
But I love sprinkles. Yeah, thank you. I like sprinkles. I, I don't like sprinkles. Jimmy's. Fun fact. Yeah, I love Jimmy's. They're Jimmy's. so good. I used to work at an ice cream place where we had huge boxes of Jimmy's slash sprinkles in the back. And I used to like go back there and like get like a cup and like fill up a cup and eat the sprinkles. <laughs> I love sprinkles. Is my eating too loud for this camera? There's a lot of eating happening that's too I loud think for mine's, this camera. I think mine's so loud. <laughs> so if you hear it, it's probably me and I apologize. Uh, no, I think it's everybody. It is what it is. But, um. We get the ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, oh. I just spilled mine everywhere. It's fine. She just chopped her cone in half. <laughs> she was trying to get the paper off of it and it was just like. It would not come off. <laughs> Oh, really it's on the door, See, on my coat. I wish I would have gotten that on video. <laughs> on my hands. The only thing bad about, I feel like the only bad thing about sprinkles is that they're like just on, on the outside mm -hmm. and then they're gone. Like after like three licks, you're like, and now the sprinkles. So I always feel like I need like a cup of sprinkles to be like, yeah. you know, or, take yeah. a couple bites and then just keep dipping them in there. Or is there, there any, I don't know, is there like an ice cream where the sprinkles are already in the ice cream? I, was about to say I that. think there is, but they probably like turn into mush. Yeah. If they're in there, you know? Yeah. Honestly, I don't know. For like two scoops, what they should do is scoop, mm. sprinkles, yeah. scoop, sprinkles. You're right. Yeah. I agree. Why don't they do Listen that? Listen to Nick. <laughs> I also, I, I also don't like the places that do the ice cream and then they like scoop sprinkles on it. Like, I like the old school method, which is how I learned when I worked at the ice cream shop. And that was like, you laid it in a big sprinkle tub and did like this on it and then pulled it back out. And it was packed with sprinkles. The way that they do the sprinkles at um, in Diagon Alley mm -hmm. there at the ice cream shop, they, they just sprinkle it on. Mm -hmm. it's, like, there's, it's just like the little sprinkles on the top. And I'm like, mm -hmm. that ain't like lay that sucker <laughs> down in there, man. Get them all up in there. Mm -hmm. And I've never asked for a cup of sprinkles there because I feel like they would charge you like $10. Right behind me is Grater's Ice Cream. Uh, this is not the actual Grater's Ice Cream location that we were at when we filmed this video. This is a different Grater's Ice Cream shop. Uh, but what was interesting uh, is we kind of got kicked out of Grater's. Uh, this was a weird experience. That Here's the thing. When you do a, a vlogging, restaurant reviews, uh, you know, those sorts of things in popular tourist areas, like Orlando with Disney or even other cities where there's a lot of tourism, nobody really looks at you funny. They don't They don't look twice at you. It's just kind of a normal part of life. Uh, you know, doing even just like a review on a restaurant. You know, you're, you're basically taking a look at a restaurant, giving it, you know, publicity really and, ta and talking about whether you like, what do you like about the restaurant, what do you don't like. Um, it's kind of free, free publicity. Um, but when you do that in locations like where I'm at now, which is in Cincinnati, Ohio, people look at you a little odd because they're not used to seeing it. And a lot of people, sometimes people get a little frustrated. And I try to be pretty careful about like showing faces, especially when I go into a specific location like a restaurant um, or a store. I try to be very careful about like not showing the people who work there their faces. Um, I will tip. I will typically like point the camera down a little bit so it doesn't show that, um, or I'll ask permission. Um, I don't just sort of willy-nilly do it. Um, and we just had this weird experience at Graders, um, and I didn't really capture a lot of it on the video because it happened kind of off camera. But like, we were in Graders, and and let me tell you a little bit about the story. So. I was filming outside, just doing a couple of like external shots um, of where we were at the location and the manager of the store came out and he was like, hey, just wanted to know what's going on. And so I kind of gave him the lowdown and said, hey, yeah, we, we were hoping to do a review of Graders. Uh, we can we can take it outside, you know, we, we can grab ice cream and then go and do a review out here. Uh, but a lot of times I like to get like interior shots of the restaurants. Um, show the different varieties, um, kind of eat inside the restaurant, but we can do it outside. It's up to you. And so he said, yeah, no problem. Um, you know, I gave him my information on our blog and um, let us let him know what we do. And he was totally cool with it. And, uh, you know, he's like, no, yeah, no problem. Um, come on in. So I went on inside, started filming a little bit of, you know, B-roll of like the ice creams and stuff. And then all of a sudden, he comes storming out 
and saying, shut off the camera, shut off the camera. You're, you can't be in here. You're not going to be filming in here. I mean, it was like the craziest experience. Um, and we basically kind of, I mean, we didn't really, they didn't kick us out, but they kicked us out of filming. So um, we ended up getting ice cream and then we did the whole video in our car, um, which you just saw. It was just kind of so odd. And it just, again, it, it, I don't know what happened. I don't know if somebody that was working there decided that they didn't want to be on, they didn't want that to happen. Um, you know, and I had a conversation with the guy afterwards I say, hey, no problem. I, I don't need to film in here. I, you know, you told me to come on in, I, you know, do you have a policy against it? You know, do, uh, do I need, you know, do we need to talk to anybody to maybe get permission? And um, he's, he basically was like, we don't have any kind of policy against it. And he just said, I just basically, I don't know what happened. Something happened and that was all she wrote. So just one of the funny, weird situations we get into sometimes um, as we're recording and vlogging. And it was just really weird. Um, and I mean, nothing against Graders. I mean, Graders is a great place. They have great ice cream. It was just a weird interaction with a particular location. Um, but again, we always try to be very respectful, get permission. But when we're outside of theme areas, you know, uh, tourist destinations, sometimes people get a little finicky, but they kind of got kicked out of, uh, of filming at Graders. So I don't know. It was interesting. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you that story uh, because when I actually we filmed the video, we kind of forgot to do a lot of other stuff with the video because I, we were so like thrown off by the experience. Um, but anyhow, Grater still has great ice cream. Give it a go if you're in the area. Um, nothing against the people, just kind of a weird situation that we get ourselves into. So I don't know, whatever. So hopefully you've enjoyed this and um, I'm curious what you think of Grater's. If you've ever had Grater's ice cream or maybe you have other ice cream locations that are more local to you. So if we're in your area, we'd love to know and we'll try them out. Um, or if there's anywhere around Disney, uh, Universal in Orlando, SeaWorld, all those locations, we'll try out those ice cream shops. Just let us know what you're interested in. And have you ever had any weird interactions like that at stores that were just kind of like, I don't know what just happened? Let us know. Um, anyway, until then, Thanks again for joining us and we will see you again tomorrow. Until then, the noble way is the easy way.